So, today is going to be a quick update on the lighting. Uh, I've added some lighting to some of the buildings that needed to be lit. Well, actually, I they were where the lights were there. I just actually wired them up for lighting. I'm using the Just Plug system from uh, Woodland Scenics. Great thing. I'd have the wife help me to get under the bench because, you know, I get down there, I may not ever get back up. That could be a problem. <laughs> She did a good job in plugging the wires in. It's so simple that, you know, pretty much anybody can do this. So we're good to go. Um, and I added some other things in there I'll show you throughout the video. So this is just going to be a short update. I'll let you know what I've been doing. And we'll go from there. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. So to start with, we got the Jiffy Lube. And I got the lights dimmed down. It's almost like a sunset. And lighting is on in the Jiffy Lube and it looks pretty good. And panning back a little bit, we've got the Wayne Brothers Ford dealership and they're all lit up. You can see, probably see the people in the showroom looking at the cars at night time. Looks pretty good. And, of course you've seen the rolling marquee for the bank. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, and uh, I went ahead and I illuminated the Southern Mall, or Southgate Mall, excuse me, I don't even know my own places, right? It's illuminated, and so is the uh, the flag now. And it came out pretty good. Of course, you've seen the engine shed, it's illuminated. I think I've showed you that once before anyway. And of course the power stations illuminated <laughs> and the Pepsi plant. And of course the welding shop is also illuminated. And of course the school. And I guess they're having night classes in the school or teachers conference or something. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what else we got. Alright, so then the latest thing I did. I've got the water tower flashing flashing beacon on top is now operational. And of course the train stand track station is all lit up. As well as the Kentucky Fried Chicken. You can probably see some people down there going in and out. And of course the Exxon station. Now I've also got the uh, the pump area is lit for nighttime use, and of course the store itself is lit up. And of course I believe you've already seen the Domino's Pizza store. We got some people in there buying pizzas. And of course the Dairy Queen Grill and Chill. So that's all the lighting now, so that's pretty good. And hold on just a second, we'll get the lights back on and uh, I'll so here's some other things. Uh, an access, well, the other end of this road. Now I've got to get the railroad crossing signs yet. I haven't gotten them. But I did add a road in to tie into the main highway. And we've got actually operational. Let's see if I can trigger this with my fingers. There you go. Oops. Sorry about that. Operational uh, signal lights. Both sides. And we turn them off like so, I believe. And they'll turn off in a minute. There you go. So we've got that. Um, you know, one thing I never noticed for is Pepsi plant. <laughs> I always wonder why it had a humming sound. It turns out the roof vents actually rotate. I never noticed. Hey, go, go figure, right? <laughs> so anyway, we got that. Um... I did add yellow striping from the highways and byways all the way through. So now the entire length of the road, it's pretty much everywhere, has got the yellow lines on it. I, I don't have any more white lines, so I'll have to order some more and eventually I'll put those in too. But it came out really nice. It looks more professional than the painted part does. And that's about it for the moment. So just a quick update on what's going on with everything and 
I'm glad to get all the lighting done. At some point later down the road, I may put in some parking light lamps in the uh, south gate wall. That would be kind of nice. And I may even add a couple in front of the Amtrak station. Not sure yet. So we'll see. So hang on just a second. I'll be right back. All right. So now you know what uh, what I've done in the last week. Or, well, about about a week. So I think all the lighting's finished for now. Like I said, there should be an addition to some maybe uh, parking lot street lamps, but we'll see. That'll be down the road. So I think after this, we're going to probably concentrate on um, maybe getting these turnouts operational. I have the LEDs. I still have to put the LEDs in this one one box here for this area. And I ordered some... Uh, LED basil holder so that they should be here hopefully in about a week or so. so as soon as I get them in I'll probably start right now. I'm going to try and document that as much as I can because uh, I know some some of you guys and, and electrical is never fun um, and especially turnouts. They're kind of easy but they're also kind of not. So I'll show you how I plan on doing this and keep my fingers crossed and hope it works. <laughs> So that'll be the next step, and then, uh, well, like I said, we'll, we'll keep going on from there. And then, of course, I did order more trees from Wish. And, Jerry, if you're watching this, um, I sent you a link on the last video to for Wish for the trees. Uh, apparently, I did get them back in stock, and I ordered another 10 more, and I think it was... Uh, I don't think they were free this time. I don't remember. They might have been $4, but that's fine. And a small shipping fee, I think it was two two dollars and change. So it was like six dollars and change. I wind up with ten trees, and if you do the upgrade like I did to the previous ones, they'll come out and they'll be they'll look like the trees that you would spend ten dollars each on. So it's still a good deal it's a good deal no matter how you look at it. Um That's about it, I guess, for the moment. So we'll see what happens from here on in. And, uh, you know, as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And uh, keep it on the rails as always. Uh, we'll see you. Bye.